So if you're not emotionally connected to the things that you're doing and buying and purchasing and having and investing in, well, guess what? You're not actually getting the, the results of what they really could be for you. You may go purchase something, but feel guilt in around it. You might feel, oh my gosh, how you feel when you have these experiences. Flying first class, no, it's not needed, but it makes me feel so freaking wealthy when I'm flying first class, so I do it. If you're only buying because it's needed, you're capping the amount of things that could come into your life. Welcome to another episode of The Quantum Woman. My name is Shamina Taylor, and I'm your host. In today's episode, we're going to talk about if it's not needed, why am I buying it? A lot of the times, women who are making you know decent money, they're, they're very successful. Um, they have the ability to create money and have, make money, but they don't have the ability to enjoy it. Not freely, anyway. And many of the times they're not purchasing things unless it's needed. So I remember having a three-day event in Vegas with a client and we were talking about just buying things out of luxury just to want them. My belief is when we buy things that, and of course, if you have the money for it, we're not asking you to go spend money on things that you don't have the money for. This is for women who have the money and they don't spend it. Those are the women who have more of a money block than the others that just spend freely because they're afraid if they spend it, it'll go away and it won't come back. So there's a deeper scarcity mindset around there. So I said to her, would you just go out and buy a pair of shoes, you know, a thousand dollars shoes just because you wanted them. And she said, well, what do I need them for? I said, just to have them. And she's like, why would I do that? She's like, if I needed them, maybe I would buy them. If I was going to a wedding, I said, well, what if you just wanted them? You saw them and you wanted them and you wanted to buy them. Well, I can't justify the purchase. So I couldn't buy it. And let me tell you, this is a programming I have meant I had many people have. I just went to Gucci this weekend. It was my birthday. And I just bought a pair of uh, Christian Louboutins. I was in wear that night because I was going on a date. And then I decided to go to Gucci, see one of my gals there that works there. And I didn't buy one. I bought three pairs because I like them all. And I wanted to purchase, you know, pairs of shoes that were going to look good on me. So I decided to have them just because I knew I needed some summer shoes and I wanted to buy some gorgeous looking shoes to wear. And I had not spent um, the time to purchase them for the season. So I bought them and many would have said, well, Rachel, why'd you buy one pair of thousand dollars, you know, $1,200 or whatever amount of shoes? Why did you buy so many? Because I couldn't decide and I really liked them and I could afford them. So I bought them. And and it's not just the fact of affording it. It's knowing that even though I spent that money, that money would come back to me. When we only purchase out of it, if it's needed, we never buy things from a desire. And so when we do that, we actually limit how much cash flow can come in. And this is a very um, deep conversation. So anything hang with me. So many times when we purchase from a desired state, we're purchasing because it's something we just love. We don't have a justification for it. We just love. And being able to purchase something without a justification for it, just because you love it, is the, one of the most powerful things to do. And let me have a disclaimer here. This is not for people who buy things all the time and they don't have the money for pay for it and they've got racking up credit card bills. That's not who I'm talking about. I'm talking about people who have the money, they work and they buy something and they just love the experience of it. They want to enjoy it, right? And when you're able to do that, what you're doing is you're expanding your wealth consciousness because you're not living in living in the limitations of, well, I'm just going to buy this because it's needed. You're going to buy it because you love it. And when you're in that, I love it energy, what it happens is you're vibrating. Oh gosh, I just felt the, I just feel the need. I love it. Bring me more. And so many people have it twisted. They're out there trying to chase the money instead of leading from what do you want to do with the money? Why do you want the money? So that's why I always say, go really big on your desired state. What is it that you really want to bring in? Do you want to have you know, your house decorated? Do you want to have a nice car? Do you want to fly first class? I always lead from those things that are seem extraordinary. They're luxurious and they're out of the side of the scope of the realm of life. But I do believe we get to have it all. So how does having it all look like, right? So if you're only buying because it's needed, what you're doing is you're capping the amount of things that could come into your life. You're capping the magic. You're capping the extras. You're capping the luxury. You're capping the, 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 the ultimate desired dream state, right? Of what could happen. And if you think about people who are creating really extraordinary things in their life, it starts with the vision, right? And if your vision is coming from, well, the, the carpet 
you know, the vacuum broke down, now I'll buy a new one. That's not a vision leading. That's a dis- that, that's a need leading. I had a client once and I said to her, go buy whatever you want, you know, buy something that's just for you. So she came on our call the next week and she's like, guess what? I bought something for me. And I'm like, what'd you buy? She goes, I brought a brand new rug. And I'm like, this amazing thing. It's like this luxury rug, rug. And she's like, well, the dog shit on the other rug. So that's why I bought this one. So it was for the family. It wasn't for her. And it came out of a need because dog shit. So really, is did that come from a powerful place? No, that came out of a need. So what kind of payoff did she get from it? Well, now I have a rug that is clean. That's about it. What do you think it did for her energetically? Do you think it turned her on to have more wealth come in? Do you think it expanded her wealth consciousness? Do you think it put her in a state of receivership? Do you think it changed how she thought about what she deserved? No. In fact, all it did was it limited it. Because when we are careful and we're worried, it's because we don't feel that there's more coming, that there's more money out there. We live in the limitation and the lack of what our little minds can come up with. So sometimes being able to dream beyond where you are, being able to receive where you are, actually expands you to having more than what you have. So next time you go to purchase something and you go, I don't need it, ask yourself, do I need anything? You need food, shelter, lights, gas, heat, you know. But the other things that you're purchasing, you are doing things from a desired state, but low. But what you're doing is you're justifying it. Well, you know, I've got it on sale. Well, you know, it, it, it actually came in handy. Like the sale thing is the best thing ever because that feels like it's a justified purchase. Do you know how many things I have on sale inside my closet? I don't anymore, but I did. Because if I saw a red ticket on it, I'm like, well, it's on sale. Let me buy it. But I didn't need it, right? But because it was on sale, it justified spending the money. My G wagon. Do I need a G wagon? Absolutely not. Did not need a brand new G wagon, you know, at that exorbitant amount of money, right? No, but I wanted it and I loved how it made me feel. So if you think about when I drive it, when I own it today, I just did a little dance in the kitchen. I'm like, can you believe it? You have a G wagon. I'm so happy. You know, like I just had these moments where I'm so appreciative of, you know, attitude of gratitude brings you more. So you're buying something to give you a feeling, right? What will that feeling give you? And that's why I always say, you don't need to go buy the $1,000 Gucci shoes. You could go to Ross and get a pair of shoes that are super fancy that you love if it gives you that feeling. But what I'm saying is don't stop yourself from going to get the Gucci shoes because you don't feel like you need them, right? Like I can't gather how I can spend that money on that. I have a client that worked with me for two years. She's my mastermind. She finally went and bought her first Louis Vuitton. She actually bought two, I think. But she had the money to buy it for years, but she couldn't justify the purchase because it didn't make any sense. And a lot of people will say, that's stupid. Don't spend the money. Why do you need it? Don't go to those fancy restaurants. You're just going to eat the food and shit it out. But the experience that you get of going to eat in a luxury you know, place, having that food, enjoying the taste, having the vibey experience... That goes a long way, believe it or not. It's not just the one and done. Those memories stick inside of you. And that's the vibration and the frequency you have going out for you. That's the wealthiness, right? That's why I say, go to a restaurant. Maybe you don't eat the full dinner. Go have a drink at the bar that's really fancy or have an appetizer. Leave there feeling wealthy, right? It's how you feel when you have these experiences. Flying first class, no, it's not needed. But it makes me feel so freaking wealthy when I'm flying first class. So I do it. I know what it does for me. And when you are only buying out of need, you don't know what you feel. You don't know. You. That's why those successes will come in and you won't have that gratification feeling, wow, that felt good. Because you're not attached or connected to um, the feeling of what it's giving you. Because this goes back to what I've been saying almost every single episode. Emotional mastery is a key to everything. So if you're not emotionally connected to the things that you're doing and buying and purchasing and having and investing in, well, guess what? You're not actually getting the, the results of what they really could be for you. You're just buying them because you think they're a good idea. You think you need them as opposed to how they'll make you feel, right? Everything is about how it make you me feel. Because when you're co-creating and creating this lifestyle and Access in the quantum field, it's from emotions. The quantum is emotions. That's the feminine energy, right? The masculine is our thinking, our doing, and our humanness. But when you want to go beyond where you are and expand your wealth consciousness, you need to tap into those emotions. And those emotions are going to take you to that next level fast. That's where you get the quantum leaps from. But if you're just sitting here going, well, I think it's, I think I, I need it, or yeah you're stuck. And this is where I help women expand into that next level of consciousness in my mastermind and in my groups and my programs, because I know what your programming is right now. You may go purchase something, but feel guilt in around it. You might feel, oh my gosh, I had a client once who went and did a three-day with us. 
She went and made the purchase. She needed to do a lot deeper work. She bought a purse. She bought, but she could not spend the money on one purse. She the next day went and took it back and had to buy seven different things or five different things, three different things with the same amount of money. And then she felt complete because her she was so limited in her wealth. She was so limited on what's possible. And that's where her business was getting affected too. Her programs were getting affected because she couldn't think beyond because she had a programming inside of her that if it wasn't needed, then it wasn't needed. And then she couldn't have it. But the way she justified the purchase, well, I spent a thousand dollars and I got seven things or five things or whatever it was, then it was worth it instead of buying one thing that she absolutely loved. She couldn't get around it. And this is where the deeper work comes from. She had to go dig a little deeper. And you know what? When you think and feel like that, guess what? Your business shows up that way. Clients are hard to come by because you're in that state. So in order to access more wealth, you yourself have to do this work. I know these are little hacks that I do, but they work. I did it with a cup of tea every single day I was able to get through. Do I need a cup of tea, uh, Starbucks tea every day? Absolutely not. You know, the first thing those... uh finance people will tell you is cut out the extra things. And here I'm saying, absolutely not. Do not cut out things that bring you happiness. Going to get my Starbucks every day brings me this deep happiness. I love that matcha tea. It makes me feel so good. And being able to go purchase that and have that feeling was amazing. It's a longer story about what, what there's a story there about how it expanded me. Do we have time for it? I will put it in another episode, but being able to get something that really made me feel so good, being able to purchase it made me feel wealthy, made me feel like I get to have it all, made me feel like my desires were met, expands my consciousness, expands my wealth consciousness. There's things that you're doing right now that are capping your life because you're only going from need and not from desire. You're only going from practicality and not the magical space of the quantum field. You're only going from your thought masculine process and not tapping into your emotional feminine area. I'm telling you right now, you want to expand your wealth. You want to expand what's possible for you. You have to stop just purchasing from need. All right. Now, I hope you love this episode. I'm sure it's got some wheels turning. If you really did and you think someone else can hear, maybe you need to send it to somebody else. And a lot of people think what I'm saying is bullshit. But I'll tell you right now, when I have a woman go through this process and they start expanding into, they now believe money will always show up. And guess what? When they have a belief like that, money shows up. And when you purchase things from this desired state, it allows you to have more. Last story, I'll tell you what, I had a client and she had a Porsche. So she just bought a Porsche a couple weeks into my program and she would go smell the leather on the Porsche because it made her feel very wealthy, but she had a hard time purchasing Louis Vuitton. She was raised in Singapore, like fancy things were a big deal, but she had this programming. She had to work hard. If you go back to the previous episode, I'll tell you about it. Hard work equates, you know, success, but she was not able to purchase things from desire because it didn't make any sense to her. And then when she started doing it, guess what? More money flew in. It kept coming in. She purchased a first class ticket to Singapore. That is not an inexpensive thing. She was able to expand because she now had a different relationship with wealth and money. She knew that the more she spent in the state of desire, more would come for her, come to her. Do you know? how powerful that is. That's you having power over money instead of money having power over you. Now, if you really enjoyed this episode, let me know, leave me a review. If you have questions about it, message us. We can go, you know, follow up with different episodes. And I also feel if you've never taken access in the quantum through emotional self-mastery, go, go take that program, go listen to it. There's other programs that we have to start getting you into that higher level states of consciousness. Right now, what you're fighting against is what you've been raised with in your programming. All right. Come join us at the uh, Quantum Woman Facebook group and um, go check out our swag shop. We've got a lot of products in there. I have a saying that more is coming because I truly believe no matter what you spend and invest, more is always coming. All right. Bye for now.